Hi Helen, here's the experiment showing the kind of invisible balls so to speak. Now as you can see here I have a bowl of water and you can see that there's absolutely nothing in it. Now if I take my sieve and I go fishing so to speak, hopefully you should be able to see that many loads of balls suddenly appear and if I place it back into the water they disappear. You can see there, completely gone. If I go fishing again, pull them out, they reappear. And if I go in slowly, you can see they disappear, reappear, disappear, reappear. And this is because they've got the same refractive index as the water. Now, they start off like this. And they start off as tiny, tiny beads, which hopefully you can see there. There's probably about 60 or 70 in there. And over a couple of hours when they've been left in water, they take on roughly 200 times their own mass in water. So they get to this size. And because they've taken on so much water, effectively, they are water. And so light travels through them just the same as it would travel through water. So effectively, they become invisible. And this is a really neat invisibility trick. What's really interesting actually, the chemical uh, used in this, I believe, is called so sodium polyacrylate. And it's actually the chemical that's used in nappies. So uh, in, this is actually how I used to get this ke uh, chemical before I found a way of finding it online. I used to cut nappies open. And actually the stuff in there, obviously, needs to soak up lots of wee, lots of water. And so the stuff in baby nappies is exactly the same as this. It can soak up vast amounts of its own uh, of water and basically grow about 200 times in its own size. And that's another kind of light invisibility demo.